Good evening, everybody. It is 10.45 in the evening. This is my first, I think, very late evening uh, show. Uh, tonight, I have 30 minutes with you guys. And tonight, I want to... Um, I want to do actually a couple of things. Uh, first, I want to um, give you a review, if I, if I can, of two movies I've seen. And um, I'm going to be honest with these reviews. And um, the first one is, uh, oh, first of all, let me, let me let you guys know, there is the number. Uh, if you've seen this show before, you should have the number jotted down. If this is the first episode you're listening to uh, uh, the Matt Kramer show, the number to call in for guests is 563 triple nine 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 thirty three five six three nine 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 thirty thirty okay so five uh, five six three triple nine thirty thirty please call in with your questions your um your concerns um uh we can talk about faith if you want to tonight i got 30 minutes uh well 29 and a half minutes really and uh, we could talk about faith, but I want to do a couple reviews of movies I have recently seen. Okay, uh, so the first one, the first movie I've seen, actually three movies, three movies I've seen in the last few weeks. Excuse me. The first one is um, the live action version of Little Mermaid, well, Ariel, King Triton. Um, Sebastian Flounder and all those wonderful characters from the early this is the early 90s um, late 80s early 90s and um, I, I will say this Howley, Haley Berry I think her name is is the new um, actress and she actually did pretty good I, I will give credit to uh, Miss um Barry, Miss Barry, not Haley Barry, but or Halle Berry, excuse me, but uh, the younger one. Uh, she actually did pretty good. The voice acting was good. Um, a couple of weird things. Um, the the man who did the voice of Sebastian the Crab was, in my opinion, a little too Jamaican. I don't think the actor himself is Jamaican per se, but it sounds a little too Jamaican for me, uh, if you know what that means. Uh, um, what's his name? Oh, gosh. Now, <laughs> uh, Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem played King Dwight. And... Uh, he was okay. He was okay. He was okay. A a different look than what I was what I was expecting, but it actually did pretty good. Um, Scuttle was voiced by a lady, I believe, this time in the animated versions as as a guy. Uh, Scuttle the the seagull was a a lady voiced by a lady this in the live action. Um, Melissa McCarthy did Ursula, the, I believe, sister of King Triton. I think they're brother and sister. The King Triton and Ursula, brother and sister. And uh, I, I will say this. Uh, Melissa actually did pretty good. Melissa McCarthy actually did pretty good in the role of Ursula. Okay. Um, I would have expected a little more uh, makeup done to her. The, the the costume or CGI costume, whether it's a live costume or CGI, looked very good. Uh, the eels looked pretty good. Um, they say 
Eric, the, the character of Eric, the prince, uh, was a little too bulked up. I don't know if you've seen that um, article in there. He was a little too bulked up. Like he he, he um, exercised a little too much. Uh, Eric was probably supposed to be a little leaner, a little slimmer. But uh, I, I, I think, honestly, that's irrelevant, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so out of out of five stars, I'm actually I'm just let's see. Out of five stars, I will give it. Let's see. Four out of five is let's see, eighty percent. I'll give eighty for. I'll give four stars. Three three and a half to four stars. Um. All the girls, all the girls, all the sisters of Ariel, they all looked very different. As did the sisters in the, in the animated version as well. And so here's a question. If anyone knows this, you can call in 563-999-3030. Uh, you want to call in and, and answer this question. How many wives did King Triton have? That's the question. Because the mother's gone. The mother's dead. Um, in both cases, the animated version and the live version. The mother passed away. And I believe that if she passed, she was killed by humans. I believe that's correct. But how many wives did King Triton actually have? Was it only one? Or did King Triton have multiple wives? That's that's my question, and hopefully someone can answer that in the chat, or you can call in five six three nine 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 thirty three. Okay, that's a Little Mermaid. Second, <clears throat> excuse me, second movie I saw was Fast Ten. Okay. Fast Ten. Um, I've seen now all the Fast and Furious movies except Tokyo Drift. The reason why I have not seen Tokyo Drift is because Vin Diesel is not in it. Josh uh, Lucas Black is in it. And I think Tokyo Drift is where we first meet Lucas Black's character. But I think I got that correct. Um, the Okay, so the, in the first, if you have not seen it, then don't listen to this episode. Uh, the first few minutes is a flashback to the, uh, I think it's Fast Five, where uh, Brian O'Connor and Vin Diesel steal a, a um, they heist a bank vault. And from this, uh, this mob guy, well, I, more of a gang leader than a mob guy. Pretty rich dude. Uh, the actor who plays the dad is um, he's from the one of the earliest seasons of 24. He played um, oh, what was his name? Um, not Escobar. Uh, Salazar. He played uh, Hector Salazar, I think in season three, I think it's season three of 24. Hector Salazar. So let me get the actor's name. Uh, Almeida, I think it's his last name. Almeida. Almeida. Yeah. Not Tony Almeida, but Tony Almeida is a character. Almeida is uh, the actual actor's, actor's last name. So Joaquim de Almeida it's from Portugal, actually. And he played Hector Salazar in uh, 24. And he's in, he was in Fast Five. Yeah, Fast Five, I got it right. Um, Hector Salazar... 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Let me get my Wikipedia out here. By the way, this is going to YouTube, my YouTube, my my uh, Block Talk Radio podcast as well. Uh, this is, um, I want to say this is episode three in the podcast, Block Talk Radio podcast. So, Joaquim, I think I said, I'm saying his name correctly here. He's he was born in Lisbon, Portugal. Okay. Uh, and he played, let me go down to his filmography here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He had a, behind enemy lines. Uh, Fast Five, Herman Reyes. Um, okay, so Herman Reyes is a guy uh, who was um, the owner of the bank vault. He was a member of the Federales. I don't think, I'm not sure if he was a chief, but he was a member of the Federales. Um, down here, and um, Ramon. Okay, so Ramon Salazar, uh, Hector Salazar, well, I think was his brother as well, and Hector was played by another, another actor. Okay, so Joaquin de Almeida played he- Ramon Salazar. That's the one. So Ramon Salazar. Okay, so I will say this. I, I liked Fast Five. I liked what uh, Joaquin did. Okay. And it's two brothers, or excuse me, two sons. Um, uh, what was the. Okay. Let me get this right. Now let me go to the Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious uh, five. Yes. Let's see. Herman Reyes. Fast five fandom. Here we go. Um, Herman Reyes, did he have a son? I think he did. Cast, you know. Herman Reyes, he had two boys. I think he had two sons. Let's see. He's deceased. We saw. We know that. Family. Dante. Oh, so only one. Oh, they had two sons. So Dante Reyes is played by Jason Momoa. My only critique about Jason Momoa's character is that he was a little too flamboyant. Okay, and I think that's the appropriate word. Years. Um, another word that could be used is woke. Um, I would not go that far. I would not go that far to call him woke. If you want to call him woke, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, but in my humble opinion, Jason Momoa, I, I like Jason Momoa, okay? Although I have not seen Aquaman yet. <laughs> Uh, but I like Jason Momoa. I think he was a good choice as to play the part, but the part was a little too flamboyant. Okay. Um, I like the return of of uh, John Cena. Uh, I think that was that was kind of cool, and the young kid who played um, Brian. Little Brian, uh, he did a pretty good job. I liked him. And Brian, if you don't know who Brian is, Brian, young Brian, is actually Dominic Toretto's boy through his relationship with the uh, was the lady officer and uh, Dominic Toretto. 
He has a son by this lady. Uh, um, blah, blah, blah. blah. Exiling his brother. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Mexico. He's married to his girl, Letty. He's married to Letty. Uh, la, 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 la. Teams up with Hobbs. Elena Nevers. Elena Nevers, that's her name. So Dominic and Elena, while Letty is presumed dead, uh, Letitia Loretto, uh, while he she is presumed dead, uh, Dominic Toretto has, has, has a relationship relationship with Elena Nevis and they have a son named Brian. Unfortunately in fast seven or eight fat fate of the furious. Yeah fate of the furious Elena is killed by by um Charlie's Theron's character. We don't or her Henchman, the, the Irish, the Scottish dude, Irish dude. Um, but through the help of the um, the brothers, the uh, the Shaw brothers, uh, uh, Brian is little Brian is is uh, rescued, blown off the plane. They're rescued and. and so now Brian in Fast Ten, Brian grew, is grown up, and in in Fast Ten, Brian Little Brian is played by. Let me see here. Family, here we go. Brian Marcos is his name. And he is played by That's ten. Leo Abello Perry. Interesting. In Fast A he's played by Carlos de la Hose. In Fast Nine he is Carlos de la Hose as a babe, I think. Fast Nine, he's played by twin. Bro okay, so uh, yeah, Carlos de la Hose is the baby. Uh, Isaac and Emmanuel Hodane is Fast Nine, uh, where he's like two. He's got curly hair. He's two, and then Leo Abella Perry, and I think Brian Little Brian is about what. 10 now almost. So, okay, so Charlie Theron's character's name is Cypher. Okay, that's what it is. Cypher. And Marcos's mother's killed by Connor Rhodes, the Irish dude. Irish or Scottish dude, whatever. So Deckard and Darren Shaw. Okay. Connor Rhodes, where do you see Connor? No, no, I think he's Irish. I think he's Irish with all that red hair. It's got to be Irish. Anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, again, uh, I like Fast 10. I did like Fast 10. Um, my only critique is Jason Momoa's character, Dante. Okay. Um, and the last movie I saw recently is Transformers Rise of the Beasts. 
Um, oh, oh, let me out of what did that say? I said three and a half to four stars for Little Mermaid live action. Um, I'm gonna give out of five stars. Oh, mm, let's see. I'll give it. I'll give it four and a half. Four and a half. If I'm gonna rate it out of ten, I would say. Uh, Fast 10 gets 8 stars out of 10. Okay, 8 out of 10. Um, Rise of the Beasts um, is, a, is a good movie. Not a big fan of Pete Davidson, but he actually did pretty good in his movie. Um, I, I I liked the 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 um the new kid. It's pretty good. He was funny. Um, how much time do I have here? Oh, I got eight and a half minutes. Okay, so five six three nine 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 thirty thirty. Call in with your op opinion about the movies. Um, Rise of the Transformers. I I really liked. Ron Perlman as the voice of Maximum Maxo Maximo Prime Prime Prax, Prime Maximo I think his name is uh, the Gorilla they actually did pretty good I will give kudos to that the Falcon is done by um. Uh, Michelle Yao, Michelle Yao, who is known for Star Trek Discovery as Georgia Philippa Giorgio, she's known for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, among other things. Uh, and a movie that she won an Oscar for, along with Kei Hoon, um, Kei Hoon Kwan. Who played short round in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? Um, a little short, shorty, a little short round. So that actor. Um, and everything, everywhere, all at once. I think is the name of the film. Uh, so Michelle Yao, Yo, um, R Ron Perlman. And I think there's one more. Oh yeah, the 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 leopard, or oh, the cheetah, excuse me, cheetor. Um. So rise of the beasts. Rise of the beasts. Cast. Let's see. So Ron Perlman, Michelle Yeoh, Anthony Ramos is the the name of that. He played Noah. He did pretty good. I liked him. Um, P. Davidson did a new Autobot named Mirage. Uh, Liza Koshi did RC. Um, and Cheetor, who did Cheetor? Let's see, who did Cheetor? Rick. Peter, okay, Peter Tinklish as Scourge or Scourge, Scourge. He did pretty good. I like I like uh, Peter Tinklish's voice acting here. Okay, so Cheetor did was done by Hongaya Kairisa. I think I said that right. And then Rhinox was David Sabalo. Okay. Michael Kelly is Agent Burke. Who, who um, recruits Noah, Anthony Ramos, into G.I. Joe. Oh, and Coleman Domingo did, did Unicron. He did pretty good. 
Why in the world does G.I. Joe have anything to do with Transformers? Someone, for the love of Optimus Prime and Peter Collar, tell me, tell me, what in the world has G.I. Joe any, have anything to do with Transformers. Someone, please, in the comments, tell me, tell me what is the significance of bringing those two together? What is it? And that is, a, that is the show for tonight. Also, can you smell what the rock is cooking? You some bitch. Yes, in the post credits, The Rock is back as Luke Hobbs. It will be exciting to see what uh, what Dwayne Johnson does in Fast Eleven, Fast Ten Point One Eleven. So uh, that's the show for tonight. Please uh, give your comments about the movies. What you thought about the movies? Um. This is going on YouTube, so if you get to hear it on YouTube, uh, please give me your comments about the movies, what you what you thought about the movies. Um, and that would be great. That would be wonderful that you give your comments, your your, uh, your feedback on the movies if you've seen them. If you've not seen them, do not watch do not watch this broadcast this podcast until you see those three movies. Little Mermaid, Fast 10, and Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Until you see those movies, do not watch this episode. If you have seen these movies, write down in the comments what you thought in the YouTube version of this podcast. I thank you for listening, and I hope you all have a great night. Stay tuned for tomorrow night. We will be doing this Every night, just about every night this week, till July 4th. Okay, July 4th. I may do a video July 4th. I will not be doing a video from July 5th to the 9th. Just let you know that. July 5th to the 9th, we, uh, there will be no Law Talk Radio stuff okay just let you know um that's it that's the show for tonight i hope i hope you all have a great night and a great week and before and if i don't see you and if you don't hear my voice have a great safe independent day. bye-bye